this tutorial I just want to talk about the issue of making your images and your footage black and white. Sometimes you think it's very simple and that there's only one real approach and you take that one approach to make something black and white when actually there are some really great creative techniques to make your items much more high contrast black and white or much more dramatic or exciting. Now the standard way that people often make things black and white is to use an effect such as tint or such as the fast color correct to remove saturation. So let me just show you those ones. If I type in tint, you'll find that we've got color correction tint. And if I drop that on there, you'll see that immediately it goes to a black and white image. And we can even mix it back in with color a bit if we want. So that's one way of doing it. But you don't have much control. It's just tint. I'm just going to twirl that up and turn it off. The other one is the fast color corrector. So if I put fast, you'll see that we've got color correction, fast color corrector, drop that on. And if we go down in the fast color corrector, you'll see that you've got saturation. And you can take saturation down to zero. And that also gives you a black and white image. If you compare the two, you've got tint and fast color corrector. And you'll see that they pretty much look exactly the same. So there's not a lot of difference between either of those two. So you don't have a great deal of creative control on those ones. However, there are other ways of creating black and white images. For instance, there is even a black and white effect. So if I type black, you'll see that we've got black and white image control. And I can drop black and white on and let go. And well, I've got nothing except black and white, no controls. And well, to me, that looks pretty similar to exactly what the fast color correction would do or let's have a look at tint. So turn tint off and uh, turn black and white on. They look exactly the same to me. So you see you've got all these different potential options to create black and white images. None of them are very exciting until you get to another particular little effect which you wouldn't have first have thought of using for black and white. And it's actually called calculations. Now if you don't know what calculations is, it's actually in the channel effects. So if you go to video effects, you'll see that there is actually a category called channel effects. So channel, and under channel, you've got one called calculations. And the channel effects are going to look at the individual red, green, blue, and alpha channels of your footage. So when we take the calculations effect and we put it onto our image, onto our video footage, whatever it might be, initially nothing happens. But when we've got this input one here and we've got where it says input channel RGBA, drop it down. And you'll see that suddenly you've got, well, one, two, three, you've got four different options for gray scale. So gray is kind of a combination which is probably pretty much the same as black and white. If we just turn one off and turn the other, yep, it's basically a desaturated approach. However, if you then go to RGB, what it's going to do is show the gray scale for each of the individual channels, and they are very different. So if I go to red, I get that kind of look, which is giving me a sort of a moody sky. If I go to green, I'm going to get quite a white sky, but quite white waves. And if I go to blue, which is often, by the way, the noisiest of all channels, I get a big contrast around the castle and not a lot on the sky. So you can see that I've got three channels that can make quite a lot of difference. However, what we can do is we can blend these together. So for example, I can say that I have got a second layer. But the second layer is actually the first layer. So it's the same image. And I'm going to take a second channel. So the top channel at the moment is blue. The bottom channel is red. And I am going to blend them together. At the moment, the second layer opacity is 0. If I take it up to 100% at the moment, so they're both together. And I blend them using a blend mode such as multiply. I can create quite stunning looks. And I can then go to the second layer opacity and reduce it to get different looks. And it's actually easier to, to, to click the slide on this one. And you can start to move or blend one with the other. You can even invert the second layer to create some really weird looks. So look at that for a black and white image. OK, so you've got these different options inside one effect called calculations to blend the two layers together. And you can change the video channels that you choose to use. So say I don't want to try blue, let's try green for my top channel. So I've now got green and red channels blending together at 55% using the blending mode multiply. Now I can change the blending mode. So let's say I want to go to 
hard light instead. Gives me a different look entirely and again I can play with the opacity of the second layer to increase or decrease the effect. Okay, so I'm going to take it from hard light. Let's try another one. Let's try color burn. I'm getting a different look altogether. Okay, so it's a way of playing with two channels in the same effect for the same item to create stunningly different black and white images. So if I just twirl up calculations, turn it off, and let's go to let's just do it black and white above. There's a very boring black and white. And when we turn on calculations and turn off the previous one we've got a much more creative, detailed, exciting black and white image because we've used one calculations effect. Now if you're a little bit worried about using the two layers and you're not quite sure how to do it, what you can do is simply play with the first layer, so let's just take that back to say red, and you can duplicate the layer if you feel more comfortable. So we just leave it at red and not touch anything else, and then if I duplicate the layer by holding the Alt key and dragging it up a layer, that's already going to have the calculations effect on it, so I'm clicking on there, and I can take this second one, just take the top one down to blue, and then I can use the blending modes that are available under opacity to do a similar thing. So go back to multiply, that's adding the two together, and turn down the opacity to change the power of the effect. By the way, if you do do this, do remember to turn off, unless you mean to actually animate opacity, turn off opacity, you don't really want the keyframes if you're just setting values. And of course the beauty of that is you can add extra ones. So I could add the green layer in as well if I like by simply choosing the top layer, holding the Alt key and dragging up, selecting the top layer and changing it to, from blue to green. So I've got all three channels now blending together under multiply and I can turn that down. And although I haven't got my RGB, I've got the grayscale for the RGB all adding together to give me, I think, some pretty exciting end results. So this is how we can create stunning black and white imagery by using the calculations effect which is found inside the channels category. Not what you initially think it is going to be. And of course it still doesn't stop you adding an adjustment layer on top and changing things however you want.